Hi uh, YouTube. Um, it's going to be a 20, right at 20,000 mile review of ownership of a 2022 F-150 XLT. Uh, just to kind of touch base on all the things I talked about in the prior videos and then you know some people were like you know give us a give us an update of ownership here uh, the truck has had no problems in 20,000 miles okay now that's not a ton of miles uh, to be you know grading it off of but you know I came from a Ram uh, half ton which had no problems in 50,000 miles so had my a decent you know share of luck with these half ton trucks lately um, but I want to touch on a few things mostly the transmission if you give this thing a chance it will it will start to act right um, when I say act right it just it searched so much for gears the first I don't know 15,000 miles and it just I know it's supposed to learn your driving habits and all that good stuff but it just felt like it took forever uh, but it, it's gotten better uh, let me speak a little bit about the positives uh, you know I, I looked at this truck because it was on sale and you're in close out or model you're in close out <coughs> and uh, and I wanted the five liter and this thing has not disappointed it, it is so much quicker and more I don't know peppier than the that Hemi that I had it's quiet you know it's not a push rod so it it, it doesn't have a lot of valve train uh, or valve yeah, valve train noise uh, doesn't have any any ticks or anything like that, as we know the Rams are pretty notorious for. This is uh, now I know Rams fixing to put in a twin turbo inline six in their truck, so we'll we shall see. Uh, but this is you know as far as being a naturally aspirated V8, this thing is just exactly what I signed up for. Uh, here's the fuel economy: so 20 miles to the gallon. Um, I don't hand calculate, so I don't really know, but if I was to go to the menu here, I think the last 9,000 miles, uh, I've gotten 18.8. Okay. So this thing is, it's doing, it's doing a really good job on fuel economy. So, um, that's good to know because the power is, is, is there uh you worry about fuel economy i drive like a grandpa though it does have quite a few drive modes uh, i very rarely put it in sport mode or anything that is beyond normal it's got normal slippery mud terrain uh eco normal sport i don't know if i even repeated myself on one of those uh, so it's it's got plenty now this does have cylinder deactivation so you will be running in four cylinder mode uh sometimes um, sport mode overrides that but there again it's so well integrated this this is nothing like ram the ram did a terrible job of of being you can just tell it's there and uh and that's you know it's kind of a, a pain when you can feel it in the pedal and you kind of hear the exhaust note change and i'm sure if i got an exhaust on this i would notice it more um i'm not going to get an exhaust on this i'm 34 years old um haven't hit my midlife crisis yet so we'll see i did put a, a jbl nano subwoofer um beneath the back well kind of against the back wall of this and uh so it's it it you know i guess that's midlife crisis ish uh the 12 inch screen works great carplay works great it's it's intuitive it it does well with touch uh, this thing updates i swear like once a week i don't know what they're doing but you know whatever it doesn't, it doesn't cause me any problems i live out this thing i'm on my way to, to see my kids uh, plenty of room plenty of power in here yeah, you've got two over there you've got you know that there there's one in the center console there's one at the back of the center console for the back seats sorry guys i'm not good at making videos um i just wanted to give everybody an update so yeah right at twenty thousand miles two oil changes the oil changes cost a hundred it takes like nine quarts i think or, or eight quarts. i mean it's, it's quite a bit of oil in this thing um so just be prepared now i i run the motorcraft or um i think that's what it's called the, the ford brand um, of oil uh, full synthetic i just you know when i buy a truck new i want to make sure that, that i always run full synthetic in it i change it about every 7500 miles so it has had two of them and it'll have another one 
here, you know, pretty soon. But for 20,000 miles, and I, and I had, this one does have auto stop start, but it's been deleted from the factory. So this thing doesn't do all the shutting off at the red lights and whatnot. Um, that's the brand of, of floor mats I would get if I was anybody interested in floor mats. These things are awesome. They have a little more bend to them than the, um, the WeatherTechs. And uh, or or the Ford factory ones, so they're great. I got bought them for the back too, uh, back there. Plenty of storage in this thing. I mean, storage is everywhere. These trucks, you know, they, they do a lot with storage now. Um, it stays filthy. I mean, these bugs. It's you know, it's springtime in Texas, so pollen and bugs everywhere. But it's uh, that's just me and my ownership style. Is I uh, don't really worry about keeping the dirt outside of it clean. Uh, inside gets a little touch up here and there, but, uh, but nothing too, too much. So here in a minute, I'm going to stop on the side of the road and get out now and just kind of walk around the vehicle real quick. The factory tires are the best factory tires I've ever had on a vehicle for 20,000 miles. I would say I, I'm going to get another 20 to 25 out of them if, if, you know, I want to, but I don't decide, you know, I want to upgrade, which that's normally never, you know, the, the case with with factory tires. I've never had that good luck with them. I think these are Michelin's, um, some sort of Ford uh, special that I think they ordered from Michelin that uh, that they, they put on the trucks. Uh, you get 265s uh, from the factory on this, so a little bit larger than the 255s that, that the Ram came with. There again, once you swap them out, I mean, normally people might upgrade to 265s. These are really nice. Um, they, they ride well. Um, I've not even rotated them. So for 20,000 miles, they're all wearing. You, I run about 34 cold PSI in my trucks. That has always been the sweet spot uh, for wear. And, uh, and you know, getting good gas mileage and all that good stuff that, you know, you think about. So, um, yeah, this thing has really been, the visibility is, is good out of the, the side mirrors. Um, it's good out of the rear view mirror sound system is pretty good uh, it's got seven speakers uh, the seventh one is un under here you can actually go into settings here and change the occupancy mode so if it's just you in the truck the driver you know it'll actually put more sound out here in the front speakers um, and there's still you know like you can still do the balance to um, where it's you know front to back or, or whatever get around this vehicle real quick and I'll pull over up here it's got to be some sort of park or something up here I don't want to be too long with the video and then I'll do kind of an acceleration video you know acceleration pulling out of wherever I pull over at but uh, if anybody's on the fence from going from Ram to Ford or you know I'll, I grew up in a time where you know Ford had those 5.4 liters that were just garbage uh, they've come a lot I mean I don't know about the EcoBoost. I wasn't a real big fan of, uh, this thing tows better than the Ram also. So if you're interested, you know, I pull a trailer maybe once a week and normally it's not a lot of weight, but this thing, it handles it better than you can't, you just don't know it's back there. So if you're interested in that, this, this V8 does a, a really good job with towing, um, compared to the Ram. Ram didn't do terrible, but this this is a little bit better of a, of a tow. It's got that smart tow, so it actually lets you um, kind of tell it, you know, the length and everything of your trailer, and it actually adjusts the blind spot uh, per, per what you've told it. So let me find a place real quick to pull over, and then we'll make this, we'll end this video. Uh, I do don't I don't like how it doesn't have the lights built into the the visors here. That's not a huge deal, but when my old lady is putting on makeup and stuff, she if it's anywhere near dark time, it's you know it becomes an issue. Um, that's it's not a big issue to me because I don't use it for that. Um, the screen here, I wish you could change the the color backgrounds and now they do change whenever you change drive modes but like it'll go green for eco and carbon fiber kind of a carbon fiber look for uh, the sport mode but in the ram you could do a little more customization on on this big screen here 
<clears throat> so it, it is what it is. When I get out, I'm going to show you the tires and, and how they've worn. So I'm right at 19,901 miles. So uh, I'll get out in just a second and kind of kind of show you the tire wear. <laughs> There's got to be somewhere to, to pull over right up here. So the, the four cylinder mode or whatever eco, I don't know what you call it, uh, cylinder deactivation in these trucks or fuel management system or whatever. Uh, I did, I've been in my buddy's Chevrolet also, and this is better than their dynamic, you know, whatever they, whatever system they call theirs, uh, whatever brand name they put on it. So, uh, now I do like the way the, the Chevrolets look now. Uh, well, the GMCs for sure. So, uh, but I think all the trucks look good. I do wish that I would have got like a more of a sport package for the, uh, you know, the color matched bumpers and mirrors and whatnot. But this is what they, I got a really good deal on this truck. I know if you follow truck prices, getting a four door pickup with the technology and stuff in it. I mean, I, for, for under $45,000 is just unheard of. So I felt like I did pretty good on it. Um, and so that's why I bought it. I did want full drive. I didn't get it, but it, there again, beggars can't be choosers. When I wanted the, the pickup, I wanted it out of my Ram because the Hemi tick had gone just through the roof. Um, it, it was just getting, I felt like it was getting louder and louder and louder. And, um, yeah, I just didn't, I didn't want to do it anymore. So, all right, I'm going to give you kind of a walk around right quick. Uh, I, d I hate how this thing if you leave your your key or key is in your pocket you can kind of see the front seats here these seats are super comfortable this bolstering here is good here is good used to this would wear out a lot on the old fords sorry this right here but uh this one man i make these drives a lot to see my kids and it does a really good job so this double honk okay man you could four scan that out but dude it's such a nightmare like i drop my kids off at daycare sometimes and it wakes up <laughs> the kids in the daycare here's the back seat here's the uh, power you got uh usb c's and a's and and plugs and cigarette lighter whatever they call those things plenty of room back here this thing uh let me sit in it real quick that way you kind of get a feeling for the room that this thing has oh Look at this. I mean, this, that's got to be eight inches um, of space there. So plenty of room back here for kids and all that good stuff. Sorry, my finger was in the way for a second. Plenty of storage in the doors. This thing is filthy, so do not judge me on it. Uh, okay, so here's the they're Wranglers. I'm sorry, they're Goodyear Wranglers. But uh, you see, I mean, these things have plenty of meat on them still back plenty of grip left on them and they're wearing i mean super nice so this is a anti-matter blue or anti-matter blue uh, it's a really nice blue color but when it's filthy and it, it's hard to keep clean it uh it, it shows dirt really really bad here's the front styling of this thing so it does have the led uh, or hid whatever those things are called I really like the design of this. Uh, you can hear, this thing's on right now. And I mean, it's just, you just can't hear it. So, uh, super happy about that. I do like the styling on this better than the 24s, but who knows, they might grow on me. I uh, don't really care to upgrade. I'll probably keep this for 60 to 80,000 miles. So, uh, yeah, that's it, man, uh, or y'all, this is, this is a Texas edition, but I mean, it's just an XLT with a Texas edition badge on it. I don't like Chrome. I'd love to be able to get rid of some of this, but I'll upgrade wheels and tires at some point. So, uh, yeah, if you're on the edge, uh, I think they both, they both make good trucks. Um, all three of them, honestly, make good pickups, but, uh, this one, it does exactly what I need to do, uh, or exactly what I need it to do. And the towing is better. And, the, and I just like the, the five liter better. I think it's just a better power plant and um so that's that's the reason i even looked at ford but i've been happy with uh you know this is my second ford the first one uh had no i'm sorry third i've gone through a 5.4 liter 
three valve terrible motor the time and chain issues and stuff so that kind of put a sour taste in my mouth i went to the 4.6 modular um in a 2009 and then i took a break uh i've owned nothing but ram trucks for the last yeah shoot 10 years and then I, i'm 34 so i don't you know for the last 10 years or so that's that's been what what i've owned and um the sorry this lady was trying to get out i guess but uh this this was my first dive back into ford and i really liked the styling of them and the interior that they did for the 21s was uh was enough of an update for me that uh, i went ahead and took the chance on it and i'm happy i did it doesn't rattle very much it's just it's just a good solid truck and i'm, I'm happy that they canceled or you know whatever this this auto stop start you know i'm glad that they took that away from the factory so um it it does the trick for me i'll probably i mean i'm a fan of all trucks uh love half ton pickups i don't really need anything bigger than that for what i do with them and uh, and this truck has done everything that that i've asked it to do and uh, and i was able to get you know i got this truck right before the financing started going a little you know as far as interest rates so uh my, my payment on this is not terrible either so it uh, makes it a little easier to get in it and drive it and enjoy it whenever you're not paying a thousand dollars a month for it so uh, i felt like for what i paid i got a really good option truck and um yeah it just it's been great for me so uh, i hope this helps anybody who's kind of in the in between maybe um you know getting rid of a chevrolet or a, or a ram and, and coming to ford because uh yeah i didn't i wasn't a real big fan i always thought they were overpriced for what they were just because of the name and uh but you find people that just won't buy anything but fords i'm not that kind of person i'm still gonna buy the best deal but uh i did i do like the choice that i made here so anyway i won't make this too much longer i'm sorry it, it drug on as far as it did there's visibility out the windows um pretty good pretty good not, not a lot of blind spot in this so uh, damn that car that just pulled out in front of me's got some exhaust problem or something. Um, yeah, the I guess that's it. There's uh, there's not much else to talk about. A truck is a truck, and uh, it does the uh, it does the trick. Plenty, like I said, it's a good cargo hauler and it's a good people hauler. So, and that's what these things are built for these days. So, if anybody has any questions, leave them down in the comments. Uh, sorry, I couldn't be a little more in depth with this, but I think. I think my, my basic deal here was 20,000 miles is, is long enough to kind of realize, uh, oh, let me get a, that's what I needed to do. Let me move to sport mode here. And I'm gonna do a an 80, I mean, or a 70 mile, like punch, okay?